Now, I know who you are. Right. Okay, so I want you to tell the people who you are. Okay. Uh, my name is Norman Edwards. I'm with the City of Orlando Family Parks and Recreation Department. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been with the city for 15 years now. Okay. And uh, I've worked with uh, youth programs for probably the last 30 years. Okay. The Urban League, uh, the um, University of Central Florida Outreach Program. Mm -hmm. So I've uh, developed a passion to work with the youth in the communities. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have an idea where that comes from, that niche that you got to work with youth? Um, well, I never thought that that's where I would be, you mm -hmm. know, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, through my college years, grew up in a big family, mm -hmm. and um, I had five kids. So, you see, now, now I've been knowing him. We used to play <laughs> intramural softball over 20 years ago. Yeah, I never right. knew you had five kids. Yeah, I have uh, three biological and mm -hmm. two stepchildren mm -hmm. uh, that I've also raised. And I also um, have six grandchildren now. Mm -hmm. So I stay pretty busy in terms well, of see, them. see, see, now that you're <laughs> saying that, you're, you're, you're making me realize that it, it, it's actually been over 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I think we were at UCF maybe, what, 25 years that's ago? Right, 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 right. Uh, hey, so, so with the program in which you work with now, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, with the uh, City of Orlando Family Parks and Recreation, mm -hmm. uh, we do a number of things. I'm at the Rosemont Community Center. Okay. And I have uh, after school programs. I'm over all programs uh, for the youth. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have dance, we have rowing programs, uh, we have Dragon Boat. I don't know if you're familiar with the Dragon no, Boat. No, no. I have uh, no idea. It's a rowing team. Okay. And they go out and they compete all around the country. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's comprised of teenagers and officers from OPD. Okay. So they team up, it's 20 of them on a team, and mm -hmm. they go out and they row um, and compete. Mm -hmm. So we've done pretty good in that aspect. You know? Okay. Uh, some other things we have, we have dance programs. I coach uh, youth sports mm -hmm. uh, as well as basketball, football, um, and then we also have mentoring. Okay. I participate with the My Brother's Keeper program, mm -hmm. which we go into the middle schools and elementary schools, and we mentor the young uh, minority males. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the Rome program, which came out of the uh, recreation department, and they do mentoring in the schools as well. Okay. I'm also a proud member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, okay. so that's where I got a lot of my... Um, um, direction to serve okay so, okay yeah. yeah now how did you hear about young fathers of central florida um i think i was down in recreation and i heard our supervisor uh mention it one day mm -hmm. and of course you know i have uh four sons mm -hmm. and one was a young father at the time mm -hmm. and so i was looking for something to kind of help him in terms of guidance or maybe services things of that nature so I came to a few of the meetings with Haki, mm -hmm. and uh, from that point, I've kind of always kept up. I haven't been able to attend all the meetings and mm -hmm. things of that nature, but uh, it's always been in the back of my mind to keep my sons uh, informed of what was going on with Young Fathers of Central Florida. Okay, yes, you uh, two-day conference, you was here yesterday, you're here today. Uh, uh, what can you take of, uh, with you from yesterday? From yesterday, uh, I got a few things from uh, talking with one of the um, uh, participants, the uh, young lady from Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about uh, the programs that they have out there, and she, like myself, a uh, former military, mm -hmm. and so we connected and we talked about how uh, the programs that they do that uh, help with vets mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Okay. Now, today it's been going well. I've already heard a few things that mm -hmm. I really can take. Uh, back with me to share, you know, not only with my son, but mm -hmm. with uh, the kids that come through my programs. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to come out. All no, right. We, my pleasure. You got a workshop to go to. Oh, yeah. And I have with me? Curtis Manning. From? Uh, with the Callahan Neighborhood Center with the City of Orlando. Okay. Tell me a little about the Callahan Center. Okay. The Callahan Neighborhood Center is located at 101 North Paramore mm -hmm. Avenue, mm -hmm. um, area code uh, 32801. And uh, it's a historical location mm -hmm. within the city's recreation mm -hmm. uh, division. Mm -hmm. um, it is no, it is the, the old Jones High School. Oh, really? Um, yes, sir. During times of uh, when the high schools were segregated. Uh, uh, yeah, it would see that now. People who are watching, uh, there's a 
great story uh, behind Jones High School and the part that it played for us people of color here in the Central Florida area. Um, long time ago, it was the only school in this area, and they used they had to they bus people bus people they bus black folks in <laughs> because it was the only school for them in this area right so correct right correct yeah, right. correct okay so um uh, nowadays what we do at callahan um center is is no longer high school of course mm -hmm. um, but we do uh, after school programming summer camp programming mentor programming sports mm -hmm. we have uh activities there that 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 uh of a range and variety you can be um senior, mm -hmm. adult, mm -hmm. um, just a, a whole variety of things. And we also do a lot of partnership with the community as mm -hmm. far as coming in and, and providing programs. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, so on the average, about how many kids run through the center per week on the average? Give me a number. Per, per week? week? Yeah. I would say that number roughly Get about get about about we're about a thousand kids a week. About a thousand kids yeah, a week. Yeah. About a thousand kids a week. Okay. All right. Now, how did you hear about Young Fathers of uh, Central Florida? Uh, I heard about Young Fathers of Central Florida many years ago. This is probably my fifth um, conference that I've attended, mm -hmm. and um, it, like uh, Mr. Haki explained, it came through uh, our supervisor, our manager, Mr. Rodney Williams, mm -hmm. said, hey guys, I got this really uh, fantastic training for you guys to attend mm -hmm. um, called Young Fathers of Central Florida. You're going to learn a lot. It's going to be exciting. Mr. Haki um, is going to keep everything fresh and, and, and exciting for you. And um, came to the training one year and been trying to get, you know, making sure that I attend each year after that. All right. Yep. Okay, now, um, were you here yesterday? Yes, sir. Okay, now, real quick, I'm going to let you get back to, because uh, uh, a workshop is about ready to start. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you take from yesterday? Okay, so my big takeaway from yesterday, I attended a workshop with Mr. Robert Guy. Mm -hmm. And very early in his workshop, he said uh, that he, uh, in, in creating um, his mentoring program, um, where, where he's from, he said, he had to move on from having the big meetings. Mm -hmm. And somebody just had to start doing the work. Right. And, and that was um, really, um, it, was, it was really interesting to me because that's, that's been kind of like my thoughts on it, things, mm -hmm. is that um, sometimes you get a lot of, uh, you know, um, higher ups meeting, mm -hmm. and then one meeting wants to Right. Turn it to another meeting. Right, a meeting, a, 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 a meeting about a meeting. Meeting about a meeting to mm -hmm. plan a, to plan a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm more of in the way of just let's go ahead and and just get started with right. things. Right. Yeah, right. I know right. that that's the proper way to do everything. Mm -hmm. um, but I like to go ahead and just get started with doing things. Yeah. Okay, yeah. when um, I've been around, I I. I before you were there and I've done a lot of work within the Jackson Center, the Smith Center and the Callahan Center. So uh, I know what you're dealing with and I know what you're doing over there. So I appreciate your your passion and you doing what you're doing. You know? so, Thank you. Uh, the Callahan Center, um, which I would love to do a story on itself, but uh, I understand. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for uh, stopping by and talk, talking no to us. No problem at all, anytime. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, and we have with us? Naomi Cuba from Healthy Families. Lude Santiago from Healthy Families of Hillsboro. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Healthy Families. <laughs> you could start. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy Families is a home beat detention program with mom that recently has had a baby. Mm -hmm. In the past two years, the company started uh, taking moms that um, they are pregnant in the last 10 months of her pregnancy. And what we've been to the houses are um, a lot of education and brain development mm -hmm. and the development of the child. We do a lot of stuff. Um, I'm gonna be brief. Uh, we come to the homes, we come to the ladies. They don't come to us. We stay at least an hour and we have a co-curriculum that we uh, do with the, with the families. It is called GGK. We do a lot of tools. We follow uh, depression, and um, the tool is called EPDS, 
and that's postpartum depression and then we had another two calls healthy families palace inventory and we had nine areas there that would work with the mom support system environment parent-child interaction um, parent efficacy uh, depression self-care and um, but the more important part the part is that we work with mom, with the baby, and the whole family. Now, what's the now, and what is the average age range of your clients? Um, it's on zero to mm -hmm. five years old. Mm -hmm. Zero to five years old. Uh, well, no, no. Zero, zero to five years old. No, I mean, I mean, as in the mothers. Oh, there's no age um, mm -hmm. restriction. Um, it, the, she's had one that was ten and a half years old. Wow. And there's up to 40, 50 years mm -hmm. old. It doesn't, mm -hmm. we don't discriminate on the age. No, 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 I wasn't saying in reference to that, but on the average, average. on the average, your, your age range is about? Yeah, about teenagers, basically. Oh, okay, um, okay. They could be 14, 15. Mm -hmm. I have one 16 now, um, but I also have one that's 43. Okay, okay. So it's all it's, ages, really. It's a mom that has a baby. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So how did you hear about Young Fathers of Central Florida? A program manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she sent an email. Mm -hmm. uh, they got six, uh, uh, we had uh, how many offers? Uh, we had like f four offers. So she sent the email mm -hmm. and in each office there's two teams. Okay. And uh, they decided to pick um, for one each team mm -hmm. a person to represent. Oh, okay. Now, uh, can you share what you've gotten out of the conference so so far? Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and the more important thing is that we have a website that we can go in and find a lot of information so we can engage all those pa uh, teenagers' parents. Okay, okay. What is, is there anything and that you've gotten out of the conference? Basically, yeah, um, how to interact with the fathers, um, try to bring them in so that they could actually be involved mm -hmm. with the wife or the girlfriend or whoever it is. Well, it's in, on his own because on we have a lot of right. parents mm -hmm. raising the kids in their own. Right. So. Okay, well thank you for all the work that you're doing for your passion and for the spirit that, that you have because you make a difference. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.